Hello all, this video is on A6 GSM full development board. The A6 GSM module is introduced by the manufacturers of the famous ESP8266 modules. On the back side of the GSM module, you can slide in a valid SIM and lock it. Now put the module onto the development board. The board has an USB socket similar to the one in the cell phones. A CH340 IC provides USB to serial functionality. The CH340 drivers uh, download link is given in the description. This is the on off switch. The small 8 pin IC is the power regulator IC. An LED is provided to indicate the signal. There is also an onboard MCU. This is 8051 based microcontroller which is factory preloaded with a demo program. There is also a keyboard, an LCD, a relay and a buzzer. A 5 volt 2 ampere adapter can be used at this power socket. This is the headphone mic socket. The blue 6 way dip switch decides the connections between MCU, USB and the A6 modem. The selection of this dip switch is important. Now plug in the USB cable from the board to PC and then provide the external power source 5 volt 2 ampere. Set the dip switches 1, 3, 5 and 6 to on position. These settings will run the demo software from MCU as well as allow AT commands from USB. You can see the on indication on the right side. Sliding the switches to right will make the switch on. 1, 3, 5, and 6 are, are set to the on position. Open a serial monitor like PuTTY and then provide the COM port number. Feed the baud rate as 115200, which is the default baud rate of A6 modem. Now switch on the A6 uh, development board. GSM takes 10 seconds to boot up and get ready. Once you get uh, CRGS1, the preloaded software will try to connect to AI Thinker Cloud. The exact functionality is not explained in the data sheet. So wait till this closes and then finally type in AT. The module will respond with OK. AT plus C R E G returns 1 indicating that the SIM is valid. AT plus C S Q returns the signal quality. AT D followed by the phone number dials the number. A semicolon is not record as in SIM 900. Even if you use the semicolon it will dial the number. AT H hangs the call. AT plus DLST redials the last uh, dialed number. This is the redial AT command, AT plus DLST. You can also dial the number from the key keypad uh, provided. Dial the number using the keypad and then press the dial button on the top uh, top long pressing the dial button will delete the number or provide backspace pressing the sms button next to this uh, dial sends the te test message to the number Now set the dip switches 2 and 4 to on and others to off. This provides USB control to the A6 module.
slide 2 and 4 to the right position to make it on. From the device manager, note down the COM port number and then open a terminal software like PuTTY. Wait for the GSM to get ready. If you type in AT, there will be no response as the A6 GSM waits for a carriage return along with the AT command. In the previous DIP switch setting, PuTTY responded as the MCU onboard added a carriage return. But in this setting, we have to manually feed the carriage return. For this, use the terminal software. Close PuTTY and then open the terminal software. Select the port number and baud rate is 115200. Click on connect and wait till you get the CREGS1. Feed in AT and then click send. There will be no response. To add a carriage return, use the set macro facility of the terminal software. He has stored the commands with a dollar sign followed by 0D, which is the ASCII for carriage return. AT is stored in M1, ATD and phone number to M2, ATH in M3, AT plus CMGF equal to 1 in M4, AT plus CMGS equal to phone number in double quotes in M5, all followed by dollar sign and then 0D for carriage return. The dollar sign is to append. It is terminal software functionality and nothing to do with uh, A6 GSM. Now click on M1. You get uh, OK for the AT command. Click on M2. The stored number will be dialed. M3 will send ATH to end the call. To send SMS, click on M4. AT plus CMGF equal to 1 sets the module to test uh, text mode AT plus CMGS equal to phone number returns a greater than symbol and waits for the message type in the message to be sent and finally a control Z is required to be added 1A is the ASCII for control Z add a dollar sign and then 1A now press the send button to send the SMS. Thank you for watching.